may have seen the YouTube short video for this board. Well, we're finally going to build it. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another transmitter video. So we have a kit of parts of the Zozo PL FM broadcast driver. Load of bits in there, let's get it out, take a look and build it up. Right, let's get it all out and have a look. Get rid of that. All the bits there. And we've got a different circuit board here, I've had someone send me. Which has been updated and that has a ground plane all around the edge there. Which is very nice. There's our original one. Move that to one side. Got the instructions here. Parts list, resistors, capacitors, diodes, regulators, inductors. Very nice. Looks like we've got it to make, well, wind a uh, transformer there. Little transformer. And there, there's a builder's assembly instructions. Right, so, bag for the bits. Oh, one heat sink. There's our caps, ICs, tip switch, inductors, diodes, and our good old resistors. So we'll push all that to one side for the minute, and we'll look at them first. Right, so let's get our resistors on there first of all. The first one's a 2R2, and it goes right there. So let's get them out of the bag and get them on there. Our resistors all nicely fitted. We just need to solder that up on the back. So it's time to fire up our old trusted soldering iron. Right there we are, that's all the resistors fitted. Very nice. We'll solder that nice and clean on the back. Right, so now we crack on and fit our capacitors. There's our list. There's our bag with our caps. So we'll sort through them. Right, let's get these capacitors out. Sort them out and they'll be a lot easier to build. Sorted all our capacitors out. The first one on the list is a 12p. And I can see it, it's right there. On our board, it goes just there, 12p. Our capacitor. There we are, that's our first one on. Let's crack on with the rest. There we go, one capacitor left, which is 10 UF 16 volt. Remember these, one leg's longer. And you see on the board there, it's got a little plus there, so the long leg goes in the plus. So let's get him on there, and then we'll get it all soldered up. That's all our capacitors on there. All sold up, trimmed up on the back, all cleaned up. Looks all right. Next on the list is the BB809, which is the Vericap VHF diode. So let's get them on there. Next, 
10k variable resistor and a 4 megahertz crystal. So let's get them on there. Variable capacitor, yellow mini trimmer, and there it is on there. And it goes right there on our board. And all it's for is to adjust this crystal here so you get it spot on your frequency. And you'll probably only need to adjust that once. So let's get him soldered. So now we've got a couple of voltage regulators, and one's a 5 volt and one's a 9 volt. Is our five volt? Yeah, and that's our nine. Let's pop them on. some toco coils got our mc120 can toco coil and s18 red and s18 orange let's get them on then so that's our three toco coils fitted all cleaned up on the back Time for our transistors. So there's four transistors used on this Zozo. Uh, these ones here, the MPSH10s, three of those. And our main output transistors are 2N4427, which is pretty common on FM transmitters. Uh, but getting harder and harder to find decent ones these days. A lot of fakes out there. And of course a little spacer for it so it doesn't sit close to the board. And a nice big heat sink. So now it's time to wind our transformer. Got a nice set of instructions to follow through. So let's do that. So I've just finished winding our four to one ratio transformer. It's time to get it on there. little mini transformer all fitted all soldered up there on the back lovely so we're almost finished our build now all we have left is our dip switch and the IC sockets holders. As soon as I get these IC chip holders in and the RICs, the build is complete. So we 
we're down to our last two ICs to pot on. And this first one that's going on is the SAA 1057, and that is a PLL frequency synthesizer IC. So that is going on first. Let's get them on there. So there we are, our Zozo is complete. And I've just fitted our program pick and now we're just going to fit some little legs on each corner and then we'll connect up to the power meter and dummy load. So our Zozo is now connected up, almost ready to go, but we need to set our frequency here on this dip switch. Now I have a frequency lookup chart. You can see on there, I've highlighted it there. 102, and we've got one, one, and the ones are on, and the zeros are off. So we've got one, one, zero, 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 one, one. So that's easy enough. So let's zoom in. And that's got to go to one, 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 one. So that is our frequency set to 102. Nice and easy. Okay then, so let's time switch our Zozo on. So we're using this power supply here, good old trusted map plint, 12 volts. So let's switch it on. We're all connected up to the power meter and a dummy load. There we are, it is working. And it is doing just over half a watt at the moment. So it does need a little bit of tuning up on there. Now check our frequency. And that's pretty much bang on 102 anyway, isn't it? I don't think we need to mess around with tuning our little yellow trimmer there. Okay, so let's tune our Zozo up. So let's switch it on. There we are, just doing over half a watt on there. And we're gonna start on this red toco coil here, and then we'll do our orange one. And I'm gonna be using the little Allen key because I normally normally have plastic ones, but they're completely worn away. So purpose of the video, Allen key you have to do. Right, let's try it on our red one first of all. And turn this anti-clockwise. And the power is going up on the meter. That's pretty much our maximum there. Move on to the orange. And I think that's pretty much our maximum on there. So that's all right. So we're just sitting under a watt on there. Very nice. So Zozo is all up and running. Uh, now wind up to my laptop, test the audio. So push play on here, we should hear something. Our build of the Zozo wasn't too bad, all working good. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.